let's take a look at, at another GED question of the day. Uh, so it says here, how many square feet are in a square yard? Now I have to tell you the truth. You're not likely to see this exact problem on the GED. Instead, if um, this concept were to come up, it would be probably hidden in another word problem. You might be given a problem that started with feet, uh, but you were asked to find the answer in square yards um, and or vice versa. And so one of the things that tricks students is they make a really bad assumption. They assume that it must be true that since um, one yard is equal to three feet. A lot of students don't know that. They say, oh yeah, I know that one yard is equal to three feet. Well, then they say, well, then it must be so that one square yard is equal to three square feet. And they think, assume that um, linear feet's conversions are going to be the same as square feet's conversions. And that is a false assumption. That is just a lie. Um, and I'm going to show you why real quick. Um, but don't just assume um, that your conversion numbers are going to be the same. Um, for feet, square feet, cubic feet. Let's take a look. Um, so let us see what a one square yard looks like. That's the first thing I want to do. So I'm going to draw a square. What does it mean for something to be a square yard? Well, it means that it's a square that's one yard all around. So it's basically one yard by one yard. Now, of course, you're right. One single linear yard, the side of this square, is equal to three feet. I have three feet here. One, two, three feet. However, if I want to talk about how many square feet it is, I need to cover this shape in squares. And so I'm going to need to consider how many rows um, of feet that I have going up this way. So this one square yard is also going to be equal to three feet. Okay, and let's just draw these through. If I have three feet going this way and three feet going by this way, I have a three foot by three foot square. That's actually a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine square feet. And so one square yard is actually equal to nine square feet. Now you can see I got this from drawing a picture. It's pretty simple to understand. But one thing you need to realize is that if you square the units, you also square the numbers. So think about it. If I square my one yard, well, one squared is just one, and yard squared is yard squared. Um, but if I square my feet on this side, three squared is nine. Isn't that interesting? And so three squared, I'll write that down, three squared is nine. So it's not just my feet that turn into square feet, it's that conversion number that three turns into its square, nine square feet. Okay, great. So how many square feet are in a square yard? Well, there's nine square feet in a square yard. If you have any questions about that, go ahead and drop them in the comments.